So good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've just been editing this vlog and some of this first footage hasn't got any audio. I don't know what happened, but I'm watching the clips back and I'm speaking and there's no audio. And then there's a clip, you probably won't see it because I would have cut it out. No one knocked my camera over and I have a mi microphone attached on the top. No one knocked my camera over and it knocked the microphone back in. So then the rest of the clips do have audio, but I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing, what I'm talking about in these clips, give you a bit of context. Basically, I did a cherries order. Hi, little man. We had a cherries order arrive, which is like an online website, which is kind of like a home bargains, B&M kind of vibe. So everything you need in one place is literally the best. Every time I get a parcel, I'm in my element. I personally use the app. You can use the app or the website, um, but I do have a discount code. If you're a new customer, you can get 25% off and free shipping with the code liveguy 25 I will leave that link down below. So once you apply the discount code at checkout, it will also apply the free shipping automatically. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of context before we get into the video because yeah, as I said, there was missing audio. I apologize for my voice. I've got like a cough at the minute, a th sore throat. Yeah but I'm on the way up, which is good. See, so yeah, I'm gonna head into the clips of what we've got and hopefully it all makes sense. And I have another code for existing customers, which is just LiveGuy, which gets you free delivery on your next three orders, again, on the website or the <coughs> app. So I do apologize that Noah's gonna be dipping in and out of this video. <laughs> wow. 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 Uh -oh. And look, Noah. I <laughs> Look, darling. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's it? Is it Pepper? So they literally have everything on there from like coloring, kids stuff, to like baby stuff, to food, to drinks, to cleaning products. And I've got so much stuff. Right, let's open this up. Do you want to go sit over there with it? No. You want to play with that? Whoa. There you go, you have a look. So I actually got Noah some crayons as well. Do you want to play with the crayons? Oh, I've got so much fun stuff to show you guys. So they have this company on there called Skinny Food Co. And I picked up a few pieces from there. I picked up this low sugar banana bread recipe, like mix. I then got the syrup. I got these, actually I don't think these are the same, but these are also like the same sort of vibe. I've got these skinny um, Rocky Roads. So just like lower calories. And then toffee and chocolate snack bar as well. We've got some cream soda, J2O's, some fruit shoots for Noah. If you follow my vlogs, you know I am obsessed with ice mockers at the moment. But I saw a new flavour. Um, I picked up white chocolate, which sounds amazing. I'm gonna have one of these in a minute. I also picked up the caramel ones and mocha, which is another new flavour I've never tried. I picked up, I always buy oat milk and they had it on there, which I thought was so good. They have the original and then they have the chocolate one as well. I picked up some polos and a fajita kit because these are always really handy just to have in the cupboards. I got these limited edition cocoa pops because I know Noah's gonna love these. I then just got myself some flavoured water because I like to just have these in the fridge and just reach for them as an easy like thing to have. I got some food containers just because I always find these really handy just to put things in for Noah. And then also just another storage room because we always need things like this. So now more onto the cleaning side of things. I picked up so many bits. So I picked up these toilet room block cleaners. Um, I got a lavender scent this time. I then got this pink stuff toilet cleaner. I got a fabric gel i got a conditioner as well gold orchid is our favorite i haven't tried this scent of um like unstoppables i know these ones aren't actually um oh, they're called scent boosters not unstoppables but um i haven't tried this scent we have like a box where we just pour them all in so i'm excited to try that one we're running out of cloth so i've got some more microfiber cloths i then got some antibacterial because um, i mean i don't need three but i'm just obsessed with things like this so we've got a fresh apple zingy we got this one, which is my favorite, the wild rhubarb. If you haven't smelt this, it's literally 90p and it's my favorite scent ever. And then I got the lemon and lime. Oh, well, it's lemon and mint leaf. And again, I love that. It just smells so fresh. Sorry about all the background noise, by the way. It's literally just my life. But then I picked up another liquid, fairy liquid. Apple again is my favorite scent. So I picked up this, which isn't actually from, is it Febreze that does these kind of air fresheners? but they fit in there. So I picked up this scent because it sounded really nice, Mystic Japan. I'm just obsessed with things smelling nice. So this is another scent. This is baked pear pie crust with vanilla, which sounds very nice. Um, I then got these for the washing machine just to put in with our whites because if you know, you know, with a child, everything gets stained. And then I also picked up this one as well. So we'll try both of them. I love these life scent things. You'll see these around my house quite a lot. First day of spring is what that one's called. And then I just got this because 
sometimes Connor stinks. <laughs> what? And we need some poo spray, so. What about you? Not me, huh? I did actually pick up a normal Febreze one too, and then I picked up the lemon sherbet. These are like almost the same as the Zafloras, but they're just a little bit more affordable. And this one smells really nice. Again, it just smells really fresh because it's like lemony. And then I picked up these because obviously we've got outdoor furniture and for Noah's like slide and stuff, yeah. I thought these would be really good outdoor furniture wipes. And this will come in handy because this is what I've got right now, a cough and a sore throat. I think I just chucked this in because I didn't order hand gel, but we've got a hand gel in there as well. We've got some mouthwash, some nappy sacks because nappy sacks are so hard to get hold of these days. Honestly, I don't know if it's because they're trying to like reduce plastic because obviously these are like plastic. So when I saw these, I was like, yeah, we're getting them. We've got some shower gel. This is in the scent tequila watermelon. This is in the scent tequila watermelon with lime extract. I'm excited to smell it actually. Oh, that smells so good. And then obviously I've got these little books for Noah to play with and coloring. So he likes to color, as you can see with his pepper over there. He's doing really well. But yeah, that is literally everything I picked up this time around. You will see cherries a lot in my videos. You may have seen them before anyway. I used them just before we moved into this house because we just no! like, stocked up on all the stuff for our cupboards. Like I literally didn't even unpack it until we got here and that was one of the first things I unpacked. Um, and it's just such a good website. Like I said, it's literally like an online home bargains, B&M and I know, girls, I know. We love to see it. Like honestly, it's just fun. But yeah, I'll leave everything linked down below along with the app and everything. I personally use the app just because I find it a little bit easier. Like I said, you can get next day delivery as well, which is crazy. But yeah, don't forget to use my discount codes and let me know what you guys pick up if you do do an order because I'd love to see it. Tag me on your Instagram stories and I will have a peek and see what you've got. So yeah. Good morning, guys. It is the start of a new vlog. I thought I'd start it today just because it's kind of been going to be one of those like at home chill vlogs. I've been sorting the lounge out this morning, so I've just spent my morning tidying because our house is permanently a mess and it's a bit of an issue. So I've just tried, like, Noah's not here, so I've just tried to sort everything out a little bit. I mean, it could look better. I am going to do it properly, but for now i've hoovered and sorted most of the stuff out so the cushions are bothering me because they're not done properly and i need to sort the nappies out down here but yeah i've been doing that this morning i've just also finished cleaning the kitchen so i just need a hoover in here i've got a massive pr parcel here from um lenore but yeah the kitchen's all tidy now i just need to hoover and then mop the floor i'll use the flush mop um, but I'm just going to chill outside for a minute. I'm going to leave some of the floor in the sink. But, like, why? Why did he leave this in the sink like this when there's literally refills right next to the sink? It's just so annoying. But that is what's going on this morning. As I said, Noah's not here. He's actually with Connor's mum, which is good because I've got some work bits to get on with today but today I really just wanted to get on and sort the house because it's like impossible to sort the house when he's here so I'm just gonna run the sink and use this fabulosa um disinfectant which is basically like the flora I did actually get this from cherries all of pretty much all my cleaning stuff is from cherries um so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna leave the bottles to soak in the sink as well so, sorry if you hear the sink filling up, but this is a new parcel from Bold. This is not an ad, they've just sent it to me, which honestly, this is so fun. I'm gonna put on a wash in a sec and use this new stuff. This smells like the Unstoppables. Um, it's a new scent called Summer Vibes. It's got a stone stuck to the bottom. No one's playing with it outside, but um, yeah, it's called Ocean Breeze Summer Vibes and smells unreal so i'm gonna do a wash using do a wash using this new scent and i'll let you know how we get on and then i'm just gonna chill in the garden for a bit see if i can get a tan because i don't know if you've noticed but i look very pale because i've scrubbed my tan off because i want to actually get a natural tan not that you can't get one through self tan anyway but um yeah i'm gonna go sit out in the garden also getting through my iced coffee pretty rapidly because i'm obsessed here's little darling She's a zonko, bless her. I've also been organizing my bedroom this morning. These are 
all new in clothes that I think I'm going to film a haul with. It's not going to be a sponsored video, so I think it'd be quite nice. So we've got um, Misguided Zara, H&M, and that's everything. Misguided Zara and H&M, and I think that'll be quite a fun haul. Um, but yeah, I was tidying up everything. This is returns that need to go back. Honest to God, all of these, obsessed with them, can't get my foot in to save my life. Like, they have no stretch, and my fat feet didn't fit. <laughs> this is more clothes to go to e-bloggers. And then I've got some new in Zara bits for baby girl, um, which are so cute. Look at all these little, um, I don't know what this pattern's called, but look, it's so cute. You can get little sets. So these are the shorts for the pink one. Just like little vest and bloomer sets. And I just think they're so cute. There you go, there's that one. And then I've got some vests and then I've got this little romper. I just love this style. Just think they're so beautiful. And I did get these, but I don't like them on her. And when I cut the label off, I can't even return them because when I cut the label off, it cut a hole in it. Well, it wasn't a label. It was like, how bad is that as well? This one literally looks like a towel on her head. So I can't. this one could be all right. Like if I put it with the whole outfit, I think it would be all right. But this one does look like a towel. Um, but obviously they're made to go together but yeah there was like a little string between them and when I cut the string it cut the whole thing so yeah that's good so I got these bits she actually made me a well I've ordered from here before so I got actually I'll show you so this you may have seen it before on my vlog I got a present for my niece as well from there um, but this is from them and then I got this wild sign which is a bit deformed because Noah was playing with it from there as well this orange wall honestly kills me but it's not even the worst part of the room i promise you that but yeah they're from a brand called stripey flamingo and she actually um reduced the price for me um I, this isn't an ad or anything it wasn't gifted i did pay for it but um yeah i obviously have to show you guys because it's so cute this is like a little liberty print and i just think it's so beautiful and it, oh, it's just gonna go perfectly in here look this one as well pretty little pearl with the um, little seashell details the reason i ordered this is because she actually posted a picture with all of this in it and that was on there and i was like i need it all <laughs> it's the theme for sophia's room so i was really struggling with the theme but i think it's perfect so i have got a lot to update you guys on so i will do that in a bit um i'm just gonna go relax i have a parcel coming soon which i'm very excited about um can't wait to show you that because i'm very excited for it to come i also wanted to vlog today because me and Connor meant to be going to the gym for the first time today um i obviously did a workout the other day um i'll insert the clip i've just got on my gym stuff i found a 12 minute hit workout on courtney black's instagram which i'm gonna do normally her workouts are like a half an hour but i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to do that so i'm gonna start off with this 12 minute hit you can all the clips i need to clip my hair back but um I'm nervous but I'm excited. I feel like I need the body burn, you know? So, wish me luck. This set, by the way, is from H&M. It's got a built-in bra, so these are really good. I'm gonna try and get some more of these if they have other colors, because they're really flattering and they're really good quality. Um, they feel really nice. So, let's go. The oh, would you follow me? Oh, would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Yeah, we're going to the gym later on And I'm apprehensive And I'll probably put it off But I want to do it, I have to do it because i need to get in shape and i'm really not happy with my body like it's been eight weeks now like i feel like it's time to sort myself out you know so yeah i do have some updates i'll give you guys in a bit but um for now i'm just gonna go chill outside oh my god look at these donuts this one has a little bit of icing missing because it was stuck to this but um i just tried the icing and it's unbelievable wow the fact that these are still intact and the weather is so hot is amazing so does it tell me the flavors i'm not sure it does but obviously this is jammy dodger this i would go with birthday cake 
this Biscoff chocolate I don't know, red velvet, and then just a standard ice donut. I'm not entirely sure. Microwave for five to 10 seconds for the ultimate treat. Oh my God. These are from the brand Project Donut on Instagram. And this is their website. You can get them obviously delivered as I've got them delivered and they are unbelievable. I am so excited. I'm gonna try this, but I'm not gonna eat it all because I want, con I want us to like try them all, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna have a little bit of it. Oh my God. Oh my God, look. This is probably the nicest donut I've ever had in my life. Wow. Amazing. Good girl. Oh dear. Oh dear. I knew that was gonna happen. Story of my life, hey? Tell me you have a baby without telling me you have a baby. Right, I'm gonna go outside and carry on trying to catch a tan, leave her in the shade and just chill. Guys, real quick, my camera's gonna die, but we went to the gym earlier. Are you gonna be, wanna be in there topless? Not really, but I put over half fast. Okay, um, we went to the gym, we've just got back and we're gonna make dinner, we're gonna have a little date night, we're gonna make dinner together, we went to the gym together. Um, we're gonna then, my plan is to cut up the donuts so we can try each donut rather than having like one whole one each. Sound like a plan? Sounds good to me. And then we're gonna sit and watch some TV. Um, so that's our little date night this evening. I'm very excited about it. I don't know if I've caught the sun or not. You have, have I? Do I look tanned? Have I burnt my shoulders for anything? I feel burnt. So you have burnt your arms. You need to start wearing something to work. Oh, this shoulder looks a bit caught. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow, but I'll vlog our insert clips of our dinner and stuff, if that's interesting, or even do a bit of the donuts with you guys. Here's our dinner. Connor's put a load of Nando's Peri Peri sauce with it. This is mine. Yeah. So, dinner was lovely. Um, we're now watching Made in Chelsea and we're gonna go through the donuts. You wanna try Jeremy Dodger one? Where are these, how, how much do you to buy? Like what for six? Yeah. Jesus. Mm. Oh my god. That's good. It smells amazing. You have no butt. I want another one, but it's fine. Mm. That's red velvet. Why do they smell so good? Right, here we go, here's the main bad boy, which we would be our favourite, sorry, I would have thought. Here he goes. And last but not least, this girl. Oh my god, it feels heavy. Has it got bits on the inside? Oh no, it's got some sort of cream in there. Is that marshmallow fluff? Oh my god. I'll have to retry this one. I, th I think that one's my favourite. This one? Or well, the birthday cake one. This one's so good. Good morning guys. I am up early. Which wasn't the plan or the intention. It's quarter past eight now. Um, but I don't know. I'm just feeling a bit weird today. So I made the decision to stop breastfeeding. Um, a few days ago um, maybe even nearly like a week ago now um and i just feel weird about it like my boobs have been these past few days have just been hurting so much but um she's just so much more comfortable so much more full up on the formula and we've got her on comfort milk um this is the optimal comfort milk we had her on hip organic normal before we made the transition to this. So when I was mainly breastfeeding her and she was having like one, maybe two bottles a day, barely ever, um, she was on the normal hip and she had this rash all over her face. She was really unsettled, she was constipated. So that was when I was mainly breastfeeding and when I was on the, when I put her on the hip. When I moved her onto the Aptamil and slowed down my breastfeeding a bit more, um, her rash completely went and she settled a lot more. So it is just, what's right um and of course with slowing down breastfeeding my milk's been getting less and less she's not been getting as full up from my milk so in turn 
she's been getting hungrier and more frustrated when I'm feeding her from myself because obviously when she's feeding from the bottle it comes out as quickly as she wants it to come out um etc etc so yeah that's a little update I wanted to update you guys on I was going to sit down and do a, like a proper update with you guys which I will carry on doing when I'm getting ready because yeah Noah's still not here because obviously he stayed with Connor's mum yesterday but um I don't know I just feel a bit like oh, I don't want to say because I'll cry <laughs> I can't have another vlog crying but I feel like I kind of failed which is really silly but um I don't know I don't know why I feel like that because I breastfed this time a lot longer than I did with what I did with Noah I feel like it's because I really enjoyed it this time I'm feeling a bit sad about it but yeah I feel a bit tired she only woke up once last night she woke up at half three and went to bed at like I think her last feed was about half nine and then she woke up at half three so yeah I think as what happened with Noah when he was put onto his formula he ended up sleeping the whole night um so hopefully we're on the journey to sleeping the whole night because yeah we've gone nine weeks actually nine weeks today she is nine weeks with not a full night's sleep um and i need my sleep that is my biggest fall down in myself like i really struggle with no sleep and oh my god it could be so much worse like she's only ever really woke up twice in the night like we've been so lucky so yeah i'm just making a nice coffee what i like to do is i use these sachets i'm using the vanilla one today because i always put syrup in it anyway but um these are amazing you get eight in the pack and you can get salted caramel ones as well um so i mainly mix it with water because it um has to be with water to dissolve if you like strong coffee you'll probably have to put more coffee in i'm not a huge coffee lover but i love a nice coffee but yeah i just feel kind of like i don't know it's because my boobs are hurting and stuff and i'm having to express a little bit because otherwise my boobs literally the engorgement i woke up with this morning was so painful like they're still really sore now um i can still give her the milk obviously but um just give it to her in a bottle but I know it's going to be so much better for me and I know I'm going to be a lot like happier I know that sounds crazy but having the pressure of well luckily Connor's been really good and obviously we have been combi feeding um so it hasn't been as bad but the pressure of breastfeeding is a lot like I never really felt it as much last time because well with Noah we were mixing as well but also I, di I, I didn't breastfeed him for long and he was definitely not as hungry as she was like she feeds she would feed all the time she still feeds a lot um so the pressure of having to feed her all the time and being the one up in the night is hard like it is really hard especially when you've got another one like trying to look after noah whilst i'm breastfeeding and stuff is really difficult and obviously i still need to feed her a formula bottle but it's just not as I don't know this looks like a good coffee this morning i'm excited obviously these are actually quite weak and then i just top it up with this from asda this is the caramel flavored almond coffee drink and it has calcium vitamin b2 vitamin d2 vitamin b12 and iodine in it so i just yeah do half well mostly water and then i top it up with that and unreal but yeah, I also just feel relieved that I don't have to be stressing about what I'm eating. Obviously, you can't get filler and stuff when you are breastfeeding or pregnant. So I hadn't had my lips done in ages. I think, oh, I can't even remember, maybe over a year, way over a year. Maybe, I feel like I hadn't had them done in like a year. So if you noticed yesterday, I've got a slight bruise on my lips. To be fair, my lips don't look any bigger. The only difference is that we're kind of, um shaped my cupid's bow a bit um but yeah i've got a little bruise here i think it's like pretty much gone now i had my lips topped up and also i don't know if you're gonna be able to tell but i got a little bit of nose filler because that is something i've been so insecure about and i knew like before i was even pregnant i knew i wanted to get it done 
and then I felt pregnant and I was like, oh, this is give it, gonna give me the time to really think about it. Not that it's a big deal because filler fades anyway, like it's not like a nose job or anything like that. And I had the tiniest amount in it. I do think I'm gonna get just the tiniest bit more um, on one side. I don't know what side it is. You can still see a little bit of a bump. I know it's such a personal thing. Like I'm sure you guys probably didn't even notice, but it's something that when I film myself every day, um, I take pictures of myself every day, I really pick out. Um, and then, yeah, so I, I got my nose, um, a, ti a tiny bit in my nose, a tiny bit in my lips, and a tiny bit in my chin. To be honest, I don't really think the chin's done anything, and I don't think I'm gonna get anything else in my chin, because, I don't know. Do you think it looks different? The only issue I have here is the double chin, so... So I'm, obviously, like I said, trying to get back in the gym and stuff. <clears throat> so I went to the gym yesterday. I'm not gonna go to the gym today because I'm going out to my mum's tomorrow. The gym is at my mum's. My mum has a home gym. I'll show you it tomorrow. If you're an OG follower, you will know about the home gym because I used to obviously live at home with mum um, before I moved out and I'd use the gym literally every day. So yeah, um, that's the updates on that front. My lip filler hurt so much. I'll try and set the before and afters and I'll tell you where I go to because she is honestly amazing. If you're in like the Hampshire area, she is the best in the business. Honestly, amazing. Um, so I go to the Contour Club. I'll put her out on the screen, her Instagram and everything as well. And I insert the before and after photo. She's always done my filler. I would never trust anyone else to do my filler. Um, obviously, I'm from the Isle of Wight, but I go over to the mainland to get it done because your girl won't be getting watched filler over on the island. I'm not gonna lie. It's all like really subtle. Like my mum didn't even notice and my mum's like all really picky. I did tell her obviously, but my mum's always like meh, 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 but she didn't even notice, so. Yeah, it's really, really subtle. I don't know if you can even tell. Hmm. But anyways, um, I was gonna have a lion this morning, but you know when you're, you know when you don't have your kid and you're like, oh, I'm gonna have a nice lion, but then you think, actually, I haven't got him so I can get on with a lot more things. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. I've got work to do today. I'm hoping to edit a vlog today, but I also really wanna sit out and sub because I think after today it's meant to rain. I'm gonna go sort my hair out and stuff now. And I'll catch you up in a bit. I feel like this is one of my favorite places to vlog. I think it's just the most easy for me. So, good morning. This is my daily morning routine. This is wobbling because Sophia's in it. Oh, oh God, he's naked. So my morning routine every morning, iced coffee. I didn't really vlog anything yesterday. I don't know why, because actually to be fair, all I did was work quite a lot. Noah had a great time off at his nanny's and then when he came back, he had his nap and then he woke up and played in the garden and he had the best time. And then we went over to, over to see Connor's sister and our little niece. So that was really fun, really nice. Isn't it? Look at this beach, babe. Look how tanned and blonde he is. I'm so jealous. Hey. Ugh, we can't have that. Right, can you tell everybody how you can say Nana? Yeah. How about Shoop? Shoop? Hey. So he's already been in the pool this morning um, in his vest and his nappy and the weather is looking like this. I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty cloudy. I love you. I love you. You are the koala bear. Can you show me how you can jump like a kangaroo? Jump. Are you talking? Wow, that's good talking. Yeah. You're so happy and smiley. I love you so much. Now we're taking himself upstairs. Shut his gate, shut his door, and he's just playing in his room. So cute. Would you like the TV on? Should we go watch it downstairs? Yeah, let's go downstairs. Well, good morning. Wow, my hair looks lovely this morning. What the hell? I've just got out of the shower. And I thought I would 
hop on here look you can see where my chemical straightening has outgrown it's like all curly at my root and then it goes straight cons downstairs with noah and sophia if you can hear them oh i'm just using my hair burst on my lashes and brows i do this every day every night and i need to start taking my vitamins again because my hair's going to start falling out soon um due to postpartum hair loss so i need to be taking maybe i'll start them today but i have some pr i need to go through actually that's been here for a while so i might just show you guys and put it on my story at the same time so i've got these bits from frank body which is skincare we've got a retinol serum which i'm a little bit nervous to try because my skin can sometimes react and i would hate for that to react with my face but i would love to try it we've also got a little headband here um some brightening eye serum and then some hyaluronic acid serum which again i'm a little bit nervous to try but this looks so nice i love frank body's packaging it's unreal and then we have this bondi sands package so this is the tan mitt and then this is a like what does it say it's the pure range and this is like transparent so this one's a self tanning foaming water and this one is a self tanning sleep mask so i might put these on this morning just to try them out actually i can't be asked i can't really be bothered to tan but next time i tan i'm going to try these out and then we've got this massive parcel from scrub daddy which is so exciting um so we've got the different sponges and then this is a paste as well and then a multi-surface cleaner um these are just like boring mum owning a house um, i don't own the house but living in a house having a house kind of fun stuff like this stuff is fun when you have a house <laughs> And then i got these bits from revolution hair care which i guess are just like olaplex dupes um i was in the shower thinking i need some new shampoo and conditioner so i'm glad about this because we've got some and this is like a treatment and then we got a little like um romper gifted from guests which was lovely um so yeah there are some new bits there is another package downstairs that i need to get up which is a little bundle of like bows and stuff for baby girl so yeah i'm gonna go get my hair and stuff dry and get ready for the day and yeah 